In this video, you will learn how to set up and operate the Axiom Armor Sublimation Custom Back Skin Printer. Let's get going! Let's first get this printer powered up. Take the AC adapter and insert the tip into the back of the machine as shown. And then plug in the wall adapter. This printer is compatible only with the Axiom Armor Sublimation Custom Printable Backskins Kit available on axiomarmor.com. The kit includes the printer ribbon cartridge that'll print 36 custom prints. A pack of reusable feeder sheets for cutting. A pack of sublimation compatible custom printable back skins. And finally, a pack of custom back skin lamination sheets. Again, these consumables are available at axiomarmor.com and not included with the printer. Now, open up the printer ribbon cartridge and turn your printer to the side. Use your finger to pull down the flap to expose the cartridge area. Your cartridge will get inserted into the side of the machine as shown. Make sure that the orange cartridge holder snaps down over the end of the cartridge, then flip up and snap the side flap back into place. Now, open up the custom printable back skins pack. Now, take the custom back skins tray and pull the end of the tray where this seam is. Then fold the tray back on itself as shown. This will create a stand that will keep the tray level with the deck of the printer. Next, flip the tray over and place your pointer fingers on the edge of the translucent top and your thumbs on the edge of the white part. Press down with your thumbs and up with your pointer fingers to open the custom back skin holder. Now, insert the custom back skins, glossy side up and lined up with the edge as shown. It's important that the perforation of the back skins is towards the hinged side of the tray. Now, flip down the cover on the front of the printer and insert the tray as shown. Be sure it is fully inserted and you feel a slight click. Next power up the printer by pressing the power button. The printer will make some clicking sounds as it verifies that the tray is inserted correctly. You'll then see an amber light indicating that the machine is not yet connected to Wi-Fi. Next, we're going to get the printer connected to your Wi-Fi network and begin the printing process. For this demonstration, we are using the Cut app on an iPhone, and later in this video we'll transition to one of our cutting machines to complete the process. Remember any of our 3.0 cutting systems as well as the Cut app for iPhone or Android are fully compatible with this printer, and will perform all functions the same. The first step is to find the back cut that you want to print for. After finding the device back cut you'd like to use, tap the print button. A QR code will appear. This is used if you are using your customer's phone to send the image to the app. We'll go over this more in a bit. For this purpose, we're going to tap at the bottom left of the app to bring up the image picker. Select the photo you'd like to use and tap done at the bottom right. Now the image will be overlaid on the cut that you selected. This is important to make sure that you can manipulate the photo as to not cut off any important parts of it. You can use the image editor to rotate and even pinch to zoom in and out to get it the way you want it. You can also add emojis and other fun things. including text. Once you have your masterpiece just the way you want it, 
tap the print button at the bottom right. Give it just a moment to process, then tap the Wi-Fi icon at the top right to get your printer connected. Since your printer isn't currently connected, you won't have a blue light here, so tap No in the pop-up dialog. Since this is a new printer, tap on New Printer here and select Next. The app will now search for your printer via Bluetooth. For this to work, you'll need to make sure that Bluetooth is enabled and the app is given Bluetooth permissions. Once the printer is found, tap on it in the list. Next, you'll enter your Wi-Fi network name and enter its password. Please note that the network must be a 2.4 GHz frequency. You'll now see your printer's Wi-Fi icon begin to blink as it is being programmed to join the Wi-Fi network. This may take a few moments. You should see the Wi-Fi indicator light change to solid blue after programming is successful. And you should now see your printer name at the top of the app with a green check mark next to it. Since your printer is now connected to your Wi-Fi network, it's time to create the print. For this demonstration, we're going to transition to our 3.0 Express Wi-Fi machine to perform the printing. Again, you can use the smartphone app or any of our 3.0 Wi-Fi machines to complete this process. On the device menu, select the device you want to print a custom back skin for and tap to filter by back cuts only and select your preferred cut. Tap the print button. Here, you'll see the QR code we referenced earlier. Using your customer's device that's on the same Wi-Fi network that contains the photo you wish to print, scan the QR code to bring up the image picker. Tap to select the file or image you'd like to print. Then tap to upload the file to the cutting machine. Again, once uploaded, the image will be overlaid onto the exact cut area of the selected cut. You can manipulate the image as to not cut off important parts of the photo with the cutout. You can also add emojis and other items, such as text, and adjust as desired. Now, tap the print button at the bottom right. You should see your printer name here with a green check mark next to it. Tap print to send the print job to the printer. Now, the printer will begin to blink as the image is being transferred. You'll also see the transfer progress on the app, here. It's at this point the printer will begin the printing process. The custom back skin will move in and out of the printer multiple times as it prints each color. Go ahead and get the feeder sheet and lamination sheet ready to use. Keep in mind that the lamination sheet has a light gray color, not to be confused with the custom printable back skins, which are white. There you have it, a very high quality sublimation printed custom back skin. This printing process ensures that the print is immediately dry and ready to touch. Now that the print is done, we're ready to laminate. Lamination helps to protect the image and provide additional device protection. Take the lamination sheet and find the perforation in it. Peel the backing paper back about an inch and fold it over as shown. Next, line up the perforation with the custom printed back skin as shown and place the exposed lamination onto the print. It's okay if there is a few small bubbles at this point in the lamination that has made contact with the back skin. 
The important part is that the perforation area is lined up properly. Now use the small squeegee included with your screen film cutting machine along with firm pressure to apply the lamination to the back skin. Be sure to hold down the perforation area in place while performing this application. Now you can remove any bubbles that may have appeared between the lamination sheet and the back skin, working from the inside out with moderate pressure. Next, tear the back skin at the perforation to remove the tab. Be sure to orient the image according to the camera cutout, making sure the perforation is at the bottom of the feeder sheet. Press the back skin onto the feeder sheet as shown, making sure to center it between the lines. Now, we're ready to cut. Insert the custom back skin into the machine. Keep in mind that each machine requires a specific way of inserting the film. For the 3.0 Express machine, it gets inserted vertically as shown. Tap the send button to begin the cutting process. The back skin will move in and out of the cutting machine multiple times, so don't try and grab it prematurely. Once the cutting is complete, the machine will eject the back skin and the blade assembly will move to the left side. Now, peel the back skin off of the feeder sheet. Keep in mind that the feeder sheet is reusable so don't throw it away unless it has lost its tackiness. Next, remove the back skin cut from the cutout and grab the device that you're installing it on. Remove the back skin from its backing paper to expose the adhesive. Place it onto the device, being sure it doesn't hang over any edge of the device's frame. Now, use the squeegee, and working from the inside out apply the back skin with firm pressure as shown. Be sure to remove any bubbles during this process. Now we're ready to seal it down. Using a heat gun, work a small area at a time, being sure to press firmly to each area as it is heated. Be sure not to use too much heat to overheat the device. Now we're all done. As you can see, this process is very easy and allows you the opportunity to provide your customer with a high quality custom printed back skin, all while providing them with device protection. Thanks for watching.